Welcome to Fit College. This is our VO2 testing utilizing the YMCA cycle ergometer test. You will need from resources the following forms the procedure test with workloads and heart rates, and also the data collection sheet to help you formulate the VO2. First of all, you'll need a cycle bike with a display setting for watts and RPM. We need to set up our client so that at the leg at the bottom of the cycle is about a 5 degree to bend in the knee. Once that's set up, we can then adjust the feet and making sure the feet are firmly secure within the pedals. Once we've done that, we can then start the display. There is no set programs required, we only need the two different measurements as you can see we're cycling through the display setting to be able to identify our wattage and we also need to identify our RPM as you can see in the display first level we need to utilize 25 watts so once our client is set up we can use our display and have them continually pedal at 50 RPM while our clients doing this we're monitoring their heart rate and you need to make sure that you keep an eye on time so as you can see here we are identifying RPM and now the clients brought it up to 50 we'll now look at the time and it's coming up to a minute so we have to prepare and be ready to record the heart rate the heart rate needs to be recorded at every minute we can now see that our client has a heart rate of 74 at the minute mark so using your data form you will now record the heart rate We're coming up to the third minute now, which is the end of the workload. As long as the heart rate has not increased more than five beats from minute two to minute three, that will move on to the next workload. To identify the next workload, we need to look at the heart rate. We can see that at the three minute mark, the heart rate is 77 beats per minute, which means we now look at our form is less than 80. So therefore, the next level is 125 watts. To achieve this wattage, the person will need to cycle a little quicker and you will also need to increase the source of resistance. Make sure this display setting is up so that you can then have the client cycle at the appropriate work rate. Once they've done this, the same procedure follows, so you'll record the heart rate at each minute. Once you've completed the test, you now need to complete the form and to complete the formula to be able to predict the VO2. Here is a sample. Notice that SM1 values are the second last score and SM2 is the last score or workload that they use. So you can see here that they've used their workload divided by their body weight in the first formula to calculate those areas. It will move on to estimate their VO2 max. You will need to utilize these areas uh, to be able to calculate the VO2 max as well. If you follow the sample formula, it should make it a lot easier in being able to calculate the VO2 for your client. That concludes the VO2 testing.